Hello, I am a product manager and I am about to evaluate all my product performance through the TM1 hierarchy. I'm going to launch the appropriate form which brings me into my familiar Excel inter inter interface where I can look at a number of different measures across my products rolled up by product types. Here I see have syringes, disposables all rolling into all products for the 2008 fiscal year all months included. My measure is units. I can easily switch this to look at um, my actual revenue amounts uh, to change the display automatically. So I can see how my revenue is performed and what I'm really interested in is my margin performance. So if I look at gross margin I can see where I'm performing. If I want to collapse my categories I can double click to collapse up my uh, products to see my three different categories and I see that my product disposables are lagging behind. We've been discussing a new product launch in the disposal in the disposables area, so I believe I'm going to go ahead and plan for a what-if scenario around what happens if we do launch our new product. To do this, I'm going to load up a different form for my revenue where I can look at all of my measures by products. In this case, my default is my disposables product, and I have an option here to add a new product. I will click on that, and it's going to automatically place it into my dis disposables category since that's where I was previously located. My product code is going to be named Z1000, and my product description is the IBM Z1000D. I'm just going to click Add New Product here. Say yes. My new product has been added, and I'm now going to return to my form where I can now see my new product by navigating on product. There is my IBM Z1000D. Now this has been set up to pre-populate the product with some pre-existing data. We're going to go ahead and now adjust that. So let's go and look at our product revenue form that we were in previously. So I'm just quick looking back to my Excel form that includes um, the item that I have just added. So if I dis expand out my disposables, I see my IBM Z1000D that was just added. And what I want to do is adjust my units to have that sort of trend what a similar item had performed on last year. So I'm going to switch this to units. I'm going to put my 1600 in this form. And then I'm going to use my spreading technique to repeat that number across to all my months. So not only could I copy and paste, but I could simply repeat my 1600 out to the right and replace what is currently out there. So there's my now 1600 units all planned for the current year. In reality, I would rather apply a growth percentage to that. So I'm going to actually take my 1600 and apply a growth percentage for the month-over-month uh, -month performance of this item of, let's just say, 0.5%. And that is going to replace my 1600 by increasing 0.5% to the right. And there you see my growth across the time frame for the IBM Z100D. Now, I can now go and take a look at my performance of that item by looking at a budgeted cash flow statement, including that item that has just been added. So as I bring up my cash flow, the total impact of adding my new item has been impacted and is now showing on this particular form. So you can see in real time, users have the capability to add and modify dimensions and immediately see the impact in any type of report, all working in a very familiar Excel interface. 